everybody, I'm Dan. In this video, I'm going to take this ordinary Windows 10 desktop here and I'm going to turn it into an Ubuntu 18.04 desktop. And we're going to do so using an ordinary USB flash drive. So the first thing you want to do is head over to my website where I've got all the instructions there, which is thegpu.com. GPU.com. Okay? Select menu. Uh, Jets and Xavier Tutorials, which is actually why I'm doing this tutorial. The Jets and Xavier is a little mini robotic supercomputer, in which case you have to have an Ubuntu um, host computer in order to make everything work with it there. But we're going to go ahead and click on that link there for creating the host computer. I've got a bunch of wording here, but you can ignore that and read it through if you're interested on, later on on my website, but I'm not going to go over that in the video here. Um, down here under the uh, Getting Ubuntu ISO, I've got a little link here. Right, which will take you out to their Ubuntu's main website. Underneath there, you can click on download, right? And then in the desktop session, section over here, you'll see 18.04 LTS. Okay, now that will start the download there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it because I already did it before there, before I started the video there, because it's about just under two gigabytes. It can take a little while to actually happen there. Um, even though I've got a gigabit connection, it'll still take, you know, around roughly about 40 seconds to minutes. So. so after we've got the ISO all downloaded, the next thing you want to do is head back over to my website. And I've got a link here for the, the Rufus program, which is a simple little utility that will allow us to create a bootable USB drive. Okay, so let's click on that. Head out here to the website. And we will click on the download here. And this will only take, uh, you know, probably about less than a... There we go, we're all done. All right, and then let's go back to the downloads folder. And now we've got both of them here. So the cool thing about Rufus is there is no installation program to run. Um, all we have to do is just click on it there. I started up like two of them there. Um, no device showing here. I'm probably, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that real quick there and plug in the, the USB flash drive real quick here. Okay, flash drive came up, it's empty. Doesn't matter if it's empty or not, it'll destroy everything that's on there. But now we've got the flash drive, and I'm um, gonna click on the little select button here. And there is the ISO that we that I downloaded. And I'll select open on that. I'm gonna leave all of this stuff here as its default values and then click on start. It'll tell us a little warning about uh, Syslinux, yes on that. Uh, write the IS, write in ISO mode, which is recommended. We're going to go with that. And all, all data on the flash drive will be destroyed. That is good there. Okay. So now it's going to write um, the ISO to the, to the USB flash drive, and it is going to make it bootable. So we'll just sit back and relax while this takes about three to five minutes. Okay, so that is now has now written the ISO and made it bootable to the thumb drive. So we're going to click close on that, and we'll just come down here and shut the computer down. Okay, so now that the computer's turned off, the USB flash drive is still in it. We're just going to go ahead and power it up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have the delete key and the F2 key ready. Um, and press those when you first see the screen come up. That'll boot into the motherboard boot up options there. Um, depending on your motherboard manufacturer, it may or may not look like this. Most of them, I'm gonna click on advanced mode over here. Most of them have like uh, little tabs there. And we're looking for boot. So basically we wanna make sure that the, um, the first option to boot into is going to be the USB, right? It might say Windows Manager or something like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that and save the changes. Yes, and it will reboot the computer there. And the, the motherboard will now boot from the USB flash drive, which of course contains the, all the installation files.
Now when it does boot up, it's going to present two options. One is try it in Ubuntu and the other is install Ubuntu. And you can try it out and it'll boot from the flash drive. It'll leave the Windows um, operating system intact and so on and so forth there. Um, the option we are going to, the option I'm going to select is to install it because uh, basically we do want to replace the Windows operating system with, uh, with Ubuntu. Okay, so this will boot into this in just a second here. Okay, so there's our option. We're going to select install English normal installation. We are going to erase it Erase the disk and install. Select install now. Continue. Denver, that looks good there. Okay, we're going to set up the username as NVIDIA, right? And the password as NVIDIA. And the reason I'm doing that is because that's the default username and password for the Jets and Xavier. So it keeps things consistent and just makes it overall a little bit more easy. Okay, let's sit back while this takes about three to five minutes for this to install here. Okay, our installation is complete. It's telling us that we must restart now. And when, when, I, when I do restart, I am going to pull out the USB drive here once the computer goes dark like that, and we'll just set that aside. Okay, it's actually telling us to please, please remove the installation media, which I just did. And then it'll take uh, roughly 30 seconds to a minute for it to fully boot back up there. So talking about my, my desktop a little bit while this is booting up there, uh, it's an Intel i5, it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit, that's a pretty, pretty modern motherboard about maybe, oh, I don't know, six, eight months ago is when I got that. Let's put in our password. Okay, what's new? Next on that, live patch, next. I'm gonna select no, don't send system info. You're more than welcome to if you like. And we are ready to go, done. It's just that easy. So now uh, what used to be a Windows 10 Enterprise desktop there is now Ubuntu 18.04 and ready to go for my next video where I'll show you guys how to install the Jetpack 4.0 onto the Jetson Xavier. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching and take care.